Let's consider this quantum circuit. At psi sub 0, we have the state 0, 0. Then at psi sub 1, we have the state 1 on root 2, 0, plus 1, 0. Let's distribute the 0 state into the equation, giving us the state 1 on root 2, 0, 0, plus 1, 0. Now at psi sub 2, we apply a C naught, with the first qubit being the control and the second being the target. This means that the 0, 0 state stays the same, since the control is 0, but for the 1, 0 state, the control is 1, so the second qubit flips to a 1. This leaves us with the state 1 on root 2, 0, 0, plus 1, 1. Can you notice anything weird about this state? If we were to measure one of the qubits as a 0, the other would collapse into a 0. And if we were to measure a 1, the other would collapse to a 1. So, without even looking at both the qubits, by measuring one of them, we immediately know the state of the other qubit. This is called entanglement. There are many different entangled states. We say a state is entangled if it cannot be factored into the tensor of single qubit states. For example, this state is not entangled, since we can factor it like this, but this state is entangled, since we cannot factor it into singular qubit states. What this means is that when the qubits are entangled, they depend on each other to determine their state. There are two types of entangled states, maximally entangled states and partially entangled states. We say qubits are maximally entangled if measuring one of the qubits tells us the state that the other qubits are in. So the example entangled state from the beginning, 1 on root 2, 0, 0, plus 1, 1, is maximally entangled. Here are the common maximally entangled states with two qubits. We call these states the Bell states, and we denote them with capital Phi and Psi. We say qubits are partially entangled if the measurement of a qubit affects the probabilities or phase of the other qubits. For example, with this state, if we measure the first qubit as 0, the state collapses to this, but if we measure the first qubit as a 1, then it collapses to this state. As you can see, the two states have different probabilities of measuring 0 or 1. So this state is partially entangled, since measuring one qubit affects the probabilities of the other.